in our lifetime, we have seen information technology emerge from very humble beginnings in wired line telephone and broadcast radio to the most vibrant, fast-growing, and prosperous industry on the planet. It's been my privilege to be able to contribute to this enormous human endeavor, and I'm very gratified that those contributions have been seen worthy of the Frontiers of Knowledge Award. An event like this, it's inevitable, takes one back to the time when one's contributions were being made. Uh, in my case, that was between 40 and 50 years ago. Uh, at that time, the ideas that were being put forward were not greeted with enthusiasm. In fact, there was a great deal of skepticism and no small amount of outright hostility. My experience is not unusual for an innovator. Uh, new ideas are seldom welcomed by the incumbents. We, as a culture, have learned that most new ideas simply don't work out. So the burden of proof lies on the innovator. The innovation must work out in the real world. That burden is a heavy one, and sometimes it's too heavy for an innovator, and the innovation is lost. That uh, great science fiction writer, Robert Heinlein, said it very nicely. He said, throughout history, poverty is the normal condition of man. Advances which permit this norm to be exceeded here and there, now and then, are the work of an extremely small minority, frequently despised, often condemned, and almost always opposed by all right-thinking people. Whenever this tiny minority is kept from creating, or as sometimes happens, is driven out of a society, the people then slip back into abject poverty. This is then known as bad luck. Um, there are lessons here for new innovators. Young people coming along must understand that you will face opposition. It will be hard. You will have an uphill battle on your hands. Treasure your friends. Treat them well. When you don't succeed at first, Try again and again. When you do succeed, and you will, help the next innovator along. There's also a message here for those entrusted with public policy. Those of us who have influence in our societies bear the burden of making it safe for this tiny minority to do their work. We are all grateful to the BBFA Foundation for their support in this regard.